Me, 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 me. All right, here we go. Ow, now, brown cow. So, this is Weapon Gaming up in here, and today we're bringing you a commentary topic on how Paul always refuses to return my phone calls, nah, even though shit. he called me just 10 seconds beforehand. This is End Shadow. And this is Captain Ball here denying all those fucking claims of bullshit. Because I call you back and you don't answer, you'll play phone tag with me. You know what? You know what? You, I call you, you don't answer. Two minutes later, you call me. I miss it because my phone's on silent or I start listening to dubstep or waiting for a call on my computer instead of my phone from you and I don't pay attention to my phone. So, what was that? That, that, that was just your fucking... Uh, you know what's funny? It's like, what do you expect me not to be busy in shit sometimes like I had to get French toast earlier like I'm I that's that not takes... what I meant by what was that I mean my computer's on the fritz right now I can hear myself in audacity it's doing some weird relay playback and it's pissing me off and now you fucked up this commentary oh, yep shit. Yeah, yeah. yep but no it's 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 a totally fine commentary it's just that you know as we're recording it we're running into technical difficulties and um it's it's sort of pissing me off like what the hell man and i'm probably going to still record this and upload this cuz we're lazy but anyways <laughs> no but no but seriously like if you notice you actually you, i've played phone tag with a lot of people that was funny. It's yeah, like, right. Uh, yeah, it's not just me no, or anything. It, it is not just you. As Giovanni, as fucking Dave Mar, I, I'm terrible when it comes to like phone calling. Cause it's like I'll call them back, they won't answer. I'm like, all right, they're obviously busy, and then I'll leave my phone. I, like I don't see. Like I always have my phone on vibrate or silent. I fucking hate my ringtone. It's so fucking annoying. It's like, nah, nah, nah. and like people are like, oh, you could buy a different ringtone. Like, well, fuck that. I'm not paying 99 cents for something like bearable right. to listen to. I'll right. just put it on vibrate or something. It's just, I don't know. I just, I, I think it's fucking, it's annoying because oh, you yeah, do it too. Let's not even try to deny it, asshole. Because hey. you've done that. Dude. Hey, no, I don't. I don't see. I don't ignore calls though. It's like, it's like. When I call you back, you're like, oh well, no, I don't really feel like talking to him now. I did a couple seconds ago, but. I'm I, I I'm sorry. I have to. I, I can't do this, dude. Audacity's replaying everything I say, and it's really hard for me to focus because I can hear myself, and it's very awkward because it's delayed. And I think, oh wait, shut up. Dylan's trying to talk. But wait a minute, I am Dylan. What do I do here, man? It's confusing. It's like, at least myself will talk back to me. You know, at least myself will answer the call. At least myself gives a rat's ass about me. Fuck you, you're so fucking <laughs> dramatic, dude. Like, seriously, you know, like, I'd call you back. Like, I wouldn't want to talk to you. I mean, if I didn't want to talk to you, I'd just not answer. Or, like, call exactly. you Exactly. You just wouldn't answer. Yes, but I, I call you case. back. I call you back every time, <laughs> and you don't answer, so fuck Maybe, you. sometimes. Like, yesterday, it took you ten minutes, and then today, it took you two minutes. But it's, it's funny, like, because... I'm sorry I, I'm not right on that shit with you. Like, I'm hey, sorry. Hey, if you, if you noticed, I called you back. As soon as you called me, I called you back. Uh, what was it? It was six minutes. Six minutes going on seven minutes when I called you back. And you didn't answer. So I thought, okay, whatever. I'll go back to programming JavaScript. Then I got a uh, inbox in my Google inbox, and it said, Miss Call. And I was like, oh, well, shoot. Okay, I'll have to call him back. And it was a voicemail from you calling me a faggot. <laughs> oh, it so, actually went through? I was surprised. <laughs> so that was, that was 66 seconds when I hit uh, call, when I went ahead and said, okay, okay, I'm going to get back at this fool. And I hit call 66 seconds later. But no, you didn't want to answer. Oh, fuck you, dude. I, dude, I can't help it that I fucking, I literally got uh -huh. delicious French uh -huh. toast. Right, right, right. So, delicious, yeah, every time I text you or call you. Dude, I fucking French respond toast. throughout You're the something. day. You're I eating something. Uh, I'll okay. give you that. Right, I, think, <laughs> I think you're a little too paranoid, my friend. I'm just saying really quick <laughs> that, um, are you even recording this Is still? It? Yes, I am. <laughs> dude, I just, you know what's funny, though, is, um, I fucking... I, I, d I do this with several, not actually, just with Dave and Gio, and I think with other people it's not as bad, but Gio, Gio will do that too, it's like, he'll, I'll call him, he'll call me back, I'll call him, and then he'll call me back, and it's like, dude, what the, like, the fuck, you know, it's like, just answer me the first time, and people know when they call me that they better pick up the phone, because <laughs> the fucking, the time they miss it, that's probably the last chance they'll ever get, just saying. Fucking phone tag pisses me off. <laughs> fucking does. Yeah, I bet it does. Oh man, it must, it must anger you down to your bones. It really grinds your gears, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It fucking. Did you know 
sexually transmitted diseases can happen from phone tag? Actually, I did. Yeah, if you're if you're uh, on an unprotected connection, yeah, it's very it's very dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> like I was just fucking rambling. Um, don't you know, don't go in, don't <laughs> fucking don't so stupid. But yo, just let's be honest with each other though. You're a faggot, because you know what? You never <laughs> answer. Let's <Yeah, laughs> be honest with each other. Hey, Paul, I got an idea. How about you just be honest with me? <laughs> oh, God. Just like, you know what? Just I don't get it, dog. You don't fucking answer my calls. I'll be texting you. I even call your mom See, sometimes. See, I... <laughs> <laughs> and you can't even deny that. <laughs> You know, I don't yeah, deny that. Yeah, I that's you're completely that. honest about that. <laughs> YouTubers, viewers, he's not lying. He actually does. And it's, I call his mom every night and we sex each other. I'm just saying. Now that part, that part, no, yeah, no, that, that can't, be, can't true. be true. That can't she, be true. She's a milf. Just saying. Um. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> mom, if you're watching this. <laughs> Yo, dude, they'll probably watch this for the stupidity oh, of it. Just dude. saying. Fucking, I'm, I'm half asleep doing this commentary, which is why I don't like doing them after work. But. Well, hey, <sighs> half asleep's the best because then you're not, you know, able to uh, answer somebody else's call and interrupt us. Yeah. Not that you would, though. No, oh, yeah, let's let's come off here, I'm cocksucker. Gonna oh, I'm gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm gonna miss his call and then I'm gonna text him, why aren't you answering? And then I'm gonna call you on Skype and you don't answer. Oh, I gotta go. Yeah, like, right, oh, well, fuck you. Because it's like, dog, I'm trying to get Hey, trying I was to trying to see if I could work. You know, I, I, I just work hours, like, at my job. I'm not a full time position, I'm not a part time position. I just work certain hours hours whenever they give me them and I was supposed to be working Monday this week but my boss called and he was like hey Dylan um, you need to take the day off man because I got too many people scheduled and I was like well shit I only have 21 hours um, is there any chance I could work tomorrow and he was like well I don't know but I'll give you a call back and he never did so I went ahead and went up there Monday night and I was like hey man any chance of me working tomorrow and he was like not that I can see but if you want to call in the morning and I was like yeah right why would I call in the morning? Nobody wants me to work in the morning ever. I don't know why, but I'm their like go-to guy for the afternoons and their evenings and crap. So anyway, I'm stuck with 21 hours, not even part-time hours, and um, that's that's what I gotta get paid for this week, man. I took four days off this week. I had Thursday off. I had uh, or Friday, something like that. I had uh, Monday, Tuesday, and today off. So it's pretty lame, but um. I don't know. I mean, no, next week should be better. No, dude, I'll be straight. Your boss sounds like a fucking asshole or like a faggot. Or dude, I love my bosses, like... but the boss that gave me the day off, he he likes to keep his labor rates low, so no, he fuck won't. That. Um, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck that. that. Fuck that. Yeah, shit. but it's a it's a freaking restaurant. Like, really? <laughs> no, like, dude, I'll be straight, dude. Like, you should at least be getting like thirty hours a week. Like, no, because like I know. It's unfair, dude. It really is. It's unfair to you because you can't get the money. You want to get money. You want to work. You want to earn all this shit. Right. And the thing is, you work... The thing is with you, you work odd hours. Let's be straight. Like, Oh, yeah. You work weird because it's like... Because like, we've had a few, like plans sometimes. Like, yo, we'll do this. And like I know it was before I got my job. But it's like... And then you're like, oh, I got to fucking work tomorrow, apparently. And it's like, okay. And then like magic, <laughs> like, magic days, you're supposed to work. You're not working. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It seems yeah. like... It seems yeah. like to me... If whoever's yeah, running that is a stupid, I don't know who runs the schedules over there. Whoever works like well, the the person that does is just kind of mixed up. What really pissed me off is when he um on okay I had I had two days off scheduled in a row right, and on the first day off, uh they changed my schedule for two days later, and for the next day I should say, um so let's see it was a Tuesday and I had Tuesday and Wednesday off, so I enjoy my life on Tuesday blah blah blah. And the schedule yeah, manager says, okay, you know what, I'm going to change up his schedule and say that he no longer has Wednesday off and he needs to come in at 11 in the morning. So um, Wednesday comes, Yo, and Wednesday, I wake up at 12 because I decided to, you know, throw myself a little party and stay up till 3 in the morning. And um, I got a text. I got on my computer, and I got a text, two texts, actually, from somebody saying, hey, you're missing your shift. Where are you at? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what the hell? Um, I was scheduled to have the day off. And uh, I went up there, and they were all pissed off because I had not showed up for work on a day that I was scheduled. And I said, hey, you know what? No, I was scheduled to have this day off, and you changed it on my day off. Therefore, I mean, what do you expect me to do? Come up and check my schedule every day that I have off? Like, come on, a day off supposed to be for relaxation, not worrying. Oh, man, do I work tomorrow? You know? What if I had gone out of town? Like, 
what would I have done then? You can't even expect me to you. show up. No, no, so I, I agree 100% with you, and, like, let's even swing it this way. I believe people that, like, run shit or even manage shit, like, these days are so discombobulated or so fucking stupid, it's just, it's mind-blowing. Like, no, seriously, that's... Well, it's, it's just, it's a new restaurant, and these managers, they're not really new, but they are... No, they're the, they're the really rejects loose, that couldn't say. fucking make it at Burger King. That's, no. They're the ones who they, could... Dude, they've been working for this place for like 10 plus years. No, no, because <laughs> they got rejected at the McDonald's college. I'm sorry. Sorry. I just low. Went, that was, That's low. That you was get low. rejected from a McDonald's college. <laughs> yeah, dude, just imagine. <laughs> Application <that>. denied. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't cook a fucking burger. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> just saying. But, um... No, I don't know, dude. Even if they're even if they're fucking been in this for ten years or whatever, they they still suck. Cause I'll well, yeah, their methods aren't exactly the best. I mean, I love them to death and I love working for them, but it's really difficult, really yeah, stressful, and it's impossible for me to move out. You know, I want to be able to move out and get out on my own, but it's not gonna be possible with this kind of a uh, schedule, with this kind of wages. You know, it's just it's ridiculous. So um, what I'm looking to do is like maybe hopefully get a good job working for a company that actually gives me steady hours but I have to keep in mind that I'm probably not gonna like my boss at a job like that and here you know I love every oh, boss that I have I love all my employees uh, my, my co-workers um, I just I love everything about it but it's it's not what I need you know but, it's not what I need to move forward I'll be honest with you you gotta put yourself out of your comfort zone because if you let me let's put it this way if you're like having a shitload of fun at this job and it's great and you're not getting money well at the end of the day the really i'm not being an asshole but the only thing that matters is money and like in this society, right that's right the point of having a job is not to enjoy yourself but to have a job right. it's it's like you can you can uh enjoy what you do you can love what you do but if you're doing what you love and not you know making a living doing it then it's not going to be possible right. you know it's just like indulging yeah. yourself in entertainment spending all day on the computer watching movies on youtube and or videos on youtube and, and things like that it's just it's not the way to live your life like if it, so. like if i if i freaking like let's say there was this like basically i could play any video game for free like for free and i'd get like i don't know Five bucks an hour. And yeah, it'd be a fun job, but it wouldn't be. Oh okay, hell yeah! It wouldn't be substantial. Like I'd be, right. I'd be poor than a Mexican fucking cut carrying babers over the border. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, <laughs> getting getting personal up in here. I know, getting hurtful, but nah, I'm just I'm just joking. I love you Mexicans, you beautiful people. But anyways, no, I don't. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, seriously, I do. Our fan, our fan base is gonna slap. No, I, I seriously love the Mexicans. But anyways, <laughs> um, no, it's just like to me, um, because I, I work at a job right now. I enjoy. It, I actually do have fun with it, and it oh, pays really well. So I kind of lucked out. So that that you know. You know what? You didn't just luck out. You uh, you actually lucked all the way out. Like the bottom fell out, and you dropped with it, and now you're out on the pavement, lucking out. You know, bleeding out, <laughs> aka. Fair so, because, and I say that because you're about to get me the same job, and I'm going to be taking half of your wages. If you want, <laughs> if, if, if you actually like, it sucks because if you um, if you lived closer, you know what I mean. I could probably like over after a couple months. Closer, maybe not a whole thousand miles. Uh, maybe not like you know, maybe a few states away. Maybe if you like lived in like a five-hour drive away. But no, seriously, oh if you God. lived like Dude, near me, like after a few months, I could probably put in a good word. You know what I'm saying? It's just, oh yeah, it's just, um, you know what I mean? It's I don't get it. Um, today, I just going back to your topic is your managers gotta get their priorities set because if they want to be a successful restaurant or successful business in general, they gotta have, you know, they gotta take care of it, and they cannot be afraid of like maybe overpaying once a week. You know what I'm saying? Like I know you don't want to get the right. overtime hours. But in Rhode Island, the overtime's over 40 hours. So I don't know if that's, like, throughout the whole fucking United States, but let's say it is. Well, it's it's uh, more than 40 hours is overtime, and overtime is time right, and a half. Right, exactly. Typically. Exactly. And it's like, let's say you just go up to 38. Like, you, like you, just want, you just want a fucking a good paying job, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, what I want to do, what I really want to do is work at a place that's open 24-7 and on the, week, or, uh, on the holidays. And I want to work every holiday. No, dude, you make bank. You make twice. You make fucking two times what you make normally. Exactly. 
Yeah, Man, can yeah, you imagine yeah, working overtime on a holiday? Dude, that's what I'm planning on doing my job, <laughs> dude. Like, just imagine my fucking pay off that fucking one day. That, right. Like, bitching. Like, fuck uh, yeah. It'd be crazy. I wish, I wish so much I could make overtime in one day. Oh, oh. what? There's only, I wish so much I could make overtime in one day, but there's only 24 hours in a day, so I'd, I'm screwed by physics. Yeah. Well, like, fuck, dude. You know what you should work at is a 7 Eleven. Yeah. 7 Eleven. Yeah, so I can get robbed at gunpoint. Yeah, it's hilarious. If you've never been stabbed, <laughs> it's awesome. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking well, yo, yo, before we get off on that topic, that'll definitely be a story for another time because I want I want our viewers to hear that story and then I'll, I'll go ahead and play that song for him too. We'll put that soundtrack on uh, one of our videos. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. I got stabbed once. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so for Weapon Gaming, this is Captain Paul. This is N Shadow, and hey, 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 if you guys call or text Paul, don't don't expect anything in return. Fucking jackass. All right, guys, peace. Later. Fucking asshole. <laughs>